My name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, it's lovely to see you again. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, I'm coming on just a really short video. I mean, I've, I've been, I'm like a bus, aren't I? I'm always in one. But, um, you know, I, I didn't manage to get any content out for a week, I think. And now this is the third one in two days. And then I've got another one coming out tomorrow. So um, I'm vlogmasing today. And um, the reason I have come on quickly to go through this video is because this morning um, I picked my mother up from Red Jet Ferry. You know, she lives on the Isle of Wight and uh, took her to a new hairdresser for her to try. Um, as I've told you guys before, she's always been going for the last 25 years. She's been going to a hairdresser in central London and the cost of all of it has got a bit ridiculous, plus the time, plus, um, you know, it, it's not easy to organise. Like you can't just suddenly, you know, like for no reason, go just up to central London to get your hair cut. And um, anyway, we've tried a new hairdresser. She's very much a Vidal Sassoon girl. And uh, the lady that we went to, Ilan, in, uh, her name's not Elaine, the salon's called Elaine, I think her name's Elaine, um, in Warsash. And they were so lovely, honestly. I think it was probably the nicest salon I've ever been to as far as welcome goes. We went in, as soon as mum said who she was, they were like, oh, hello, um, hello, Pat. Um, you know, would, let me give you a gown. Would you like a cup of tea? Asked me what my name was, gave me a cup of tea gave us both these little goodie bags to come home with. And um, actually, I haven't even seen what's in here. We got a Bond Pro a Fortifying Shampoo and a Bond Pro Fortifying Conditioner, which um, are handy for travel and a nice little gift bag as well. So, I mean, that was really, really lovely. And the price was reasonable. And I just hope that mum is happy with it. Um, she's really, really fussy. And um, I don't know if she'll watch this, but uh, it's the truth. So she said she was having her hair cut and she said, oh, is this side, is this side the same length as this side? And I was like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> that must be a bit of an insult if you're a hairdresser to be asked if you've cut one side. <laughs> Longer on. No, I'm saying okay. <laughs> Mum, honestly, you crack me up. Um, is it longer or shorter than the other side? So, but uh, the hairdresser was very, um, you know, it didn't phase her at all. Anyway, that's all by the by. So we we got Mum's hair cut and then we popped to Hedge End for a spot of lunch and went into Marks and Spencer and then um, went into Sainsbury's, which is kind of joined on to Mark's there. And um, I, like, I'm like eagle-eyed. If I see a red sticker, I'm like, Rrr! straight over to <laughs> bonkers. Straight over to the red stickers. And all oh, that, I got some bargains. So if you have got a large Sainsbury's near you, um, get down there is what I would say. So I'm just going to run through um, a few little bits and bobs I got for the um, kids, uh, like stocking um, fillers and uh, like Christmassy box and stuff, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll, like they were such such good value. But the really annoying thing is that the um, till roll wasn't working. And so um, just checking the mic's working after my disaster the other day. Um <clears throat> So I, I, I've only got a rough idea of the prices, but I think everything I bought was half price. So um, I got this little game. It's called Don't Mention It. They had a whole, a whole double-sided display area um, with half price things on it. Do you remember I bought before the toilet jokes and the... Um, is it true or false things that I got in Sainsbury's for the kids before. So this is find out if you have the gift of the gab by describing what's written on the cards for your teammates to guess, but don't mention the band 
words. I mean, we've all played games like this before, but I, th- I think I think that was three or four pounds from six or eight pounds, but it was half price. So, and then I got um, when I wrapped up all the kids' gifts, I noticed that um, Billy's sack was a bit less than Hattie's, and I do like them to have roughly the same. And then this is called Historic Horrors, and this is a memory match game. And these aren't too big, you know, quite handy for traveling and stuff. And so what I can see, it's got um, match the picture to the fact. So there's a picture of a spider's web. And then it says, in ancient Greece and Rome, doctors used this sticky substance to make bandages. Well, I never knew that. I mean, you do learn a lot in these things. So I got that too. Then I bought, because, you know, they're moving house. So I bought these little... um, I've got a little slot in the top to put a photograph, so I thought they'd be nice in their bedrooms. And I think these were like, there's no prices on anything. It's really annoying. I think these were £2 each, so it would have been half price. I only only bought things that were half price. I do love a half price bargain. Um, I bought them both one of these. And I I might sort of save these for, you know, Easter or something. Um, So this is a sleepover kit and it's got get your sleeping bags and snacks at the ready from truth or dare to card games to musical sleeping bags. This kit is sure to make your next slumber party one that your friends will never forget. And again, I think this was the most expensive thing I bought and I think this might have been five or six pounds, but half price. So I got them each one of those. I'm done now, like I don't have to buy another thing. I'm pleased to say. Um, I bought this, and I don't even know who this is for, but it was so cute. Um, again, it's got no price on it, but I think this was four pounds. It's a hot water bottle, but it's kind of a masculine hot water bottle. So it's got a lot little hot water bottle in there. Joe, did you see that thing on the TV where they were saying about these how they perish? And um they have the date on them or something that you oh yeah so this this was manufactured you see that in 22 so i think they said three years max i don't know if that's if you've never used it i mean i've got one upstairs that i got for my 60th i've never actually used it would they perish without using it i don't know but i thought that was really nice nice kind of little stocking filler for a man isn't it and um i got this cute darling little bear look at the size of that label um for my grandson to put in his christmas eve box that just appealed to me i just thought that was really cute it's really super soft and i think this was about three pounds two pound fifty or something hello (laughs) i think i'm losing the plot um so that was that oh i got this this i don't even know who this is for what's this for really but it's a little sausage dog um, stress ball. It says, squeeze your stress away. I just thought it was cute. I think that was three pounds. I mean, I know it all adds up. And then, of course, I got home and I spent just over 50 pounds. And then I found uh, six pounds off if you spend 50 pounds in Sainsbury's. Typical. I've got this little set of... Um, Shower gel, bath and shower gel. I know the box is torn, but um, I can kind of parcel these up in cellophane or something. And they are mind, body, spirit, soul, bath and shower gel. I thought they were rather nice. They were four pounds. I know I remember that was four pounds, which I thought was very good. And then I got this. This was, what was this? It was half price. It's so annoying that I didn't get the receipt. But I thought that was really lovely. That's for one of my sisters who loves those kind of colours. And uh, I don't buy my sister's gifts. You know, I gave them those bags with the little star in. Um, But I thought that was just lovely. And I'm seeing her just after Christmas. And then I got my little baby grandson this to put in his cracker because, um, you know, it's hard to get a little kiddie's toy small enough to put in a cracker but I thought that'll amuse him 
And then, oh, I bought these. These were the, these are so heavy. And this is a little, oh, Dolly, stop. This is China. These are three China pots and it says three herb planters and it's in a China tray. And that's for my daughter. And I'm really sorry, but you know, they won't have everything everywhere anyway. But I think this was, I th I've got a feeling this was five pounds, but I might be wrong, but it, oh, it might have even been four. But, but anyway, it was a really good bargain, half price. And then this is, this is bonkers, but you know, I, this is all I bought. I got uh, two jars of Robertson's um, mincemeat. They were reduced to a pound each. And then two red cabbages um, because they were 19p each. And, um, you know, like these will last for weeks out in the garage, in the cool, in the dark. So whether I use them or not for Christmas, they go well with my nail varnish, don't they? Um, red cabbage wouldn't be a very good um, name for nail varnish, would it? My nail varnish is rouge noir, Chanel colour. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I bought today. But I just thought I would come on quickly and show you those. Um, I spoke to mum about doing a video after Christmas and she said she, she will. She just said, I just don't know what to do. I said, well, we'll think of something. So somebody said about a favourite recipe and mum is kind of famous for her chicken casserole. She, um, she, uh, anyone's coming for dinner she always does this fabulous chicken casserole so uh yeah maybe we'll do that on camera see if i can do it without her clocking me one she clocked me one in the hairdressers because i, I started telling the hairdresser uh about mum and she was like stop it i could speak for myself which is totally true i was just kind of you know just a bit ahead of mum so anyway i learned my lesson i kept my mouth shut after that so um yeah like i say a really short video um tomorrow's video i mean i'm terrible i honestly cannot remember what i told you last time but tomorrow i'll pop this up like now as soon as it's ready and tomorrow i will um the video going up tomorrow will be where i make the christmas crack and um the parmesan pesto puff pastry tree sharing tree so um if you're interested i mean there is a funny bit because katie's helping me in the first one so uh no she's helping me in both of them actually so um yeah nice talking to you hope you've enjoyed this little thing and um as i say get yourself down if you've got big sainsbury's and uh you, you know i always have a gift stash of things for for people unexpected visitors or birthdays or whatever and there's some really good bargains in there. There's some really nice uh, vases and stuff as well, but I don't need anything like that at all. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you really soon. Bye. I also bought these little table favours kazoo crackers um, for £7.50 each.